right so what do you think what do you think click, click, click. this is a video for individuals pursuing photography as an art also even for individuals that are super technically into their photography as a profession but kind of on the side are exploring their photography as an art form this kind of one-way discussion we're about to have is in the context of photography as your expression and photography as a tool for artistic exploration. So this isn't for someone who bought a camera with the intention of making money with it immediately. If you need to make money with your photography right now, this is, this is not for that, though you might find the conversation an interesting one. YouTube, hello, my name is Natalie. I take photos and I make videos. And I have a couple of thoughts or these things lingering in my brain or lingering in my Trello boards. I've had them for a few years now. And with this one in particular, I'm getting to a point where this idea I've been kind of itching, it's been itching at me for so long. It kind of will no longer apply to me and my photography and where I find myself in my development as a photographer. At the time that I initially decided to share this thought, a good few years ago now, the direction the opinion was taking was that I'm not going to pick a genre because I enjoy it all. So with that in mind, I think it's time that I get this one kind, you know, out of the way. And I hope that perhaps it might resonate with someone out there that is in a certain part of their career where they might too feel, feel the same way and might realize that they're not alone in this dilemma, dilemma, dilemma of picking a niche or committing to a style or to a genre. So generally the question is, or the statement is, oh, you're a photographer, that's cool. What kind of photographer are you? There are very few questions that make me stumble on my words as much as that one, because I take lots of types of photos. I, I'm sort of new to photography to the point that I still want it all, I want to learn it all, I want to explore it all. But there are also so many opinions out there telling me that I need to find my niche and within a certain range, I just don't want to. Now that was me up until quite recently, I'm still partly of that opinion and I won't stop taking any type of photo that I want to take. But I am now, after almost five years of exploring photography, ready to start committing to something and that's not to say that that's the only type of photography I'll pursue from now but I think I will start the process of creating some themed direction I guess to start off in my website I took part in a photography chat live stream a couple of weeks or a good few weeks ago now um, with Rob Trek and a few of the questions asked by Rob and by one of the viewers in particular helped me realize that I'm ready to choose a direction and I'm going to become more intentional with that direction. Up until the questions during that interview were asked, I didn't realize that I was actually ready to commit to a genre. I didn't even realize I had a photographic style until I took part in this live stream. And when I discussed my photography with Rob and with the viewers who were also other photographers. If I'd been asked to commit to a photo genre up until just a few months ago, I would have probably selected adventure in the context of people or maybe even commercial. But just by having the conversation with other photographers, I realized it's the emotional element of people and how they make us feel or how they make me feel or how they might make the viewer feel. And just as a kind of a side note to elaborate on, to elaborate on that further, I, it wasn't even until the end of 2020 roughly when I went to a Peter Lindbergh exhibition where I was even drawn to black and white or portrait photography. I hadn't until then experienced the pleasure of viewing a portrait in large black and white massive print format. So even the idea to photograph people only started for me at the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021 roughly. And even so, I'm still learning to not be afraid of taking portraits of people and even, even of myself. Getting comfortable with the intimacy that comes with taking a certain type of photo that kind of at times forces that eye contact or that unspoken expectation of the subject being vulnerable in how they're exposed to the lens or the camera. Now, I know that this isn't quite gelling with the overall theme or title of this video, 
but my point is if I just gone head on at the beginning of my photo journey and listen to the individual saying that I need to pick a niche, I need to select a genre, I don't know what my photos would be like now. This entire thing has been a process figuring this out for myself and not allowing the wrong people that or not allowing to have the wrong people to have a say in the direction or whatever direction they want me to take based on their own personal opinions kind of creating this noise and there's nothing wrong with this being a gradual process for you as well take any photo that you want to take learn from it and then progress from there even if it's a photo that you end up discarding I firmly believe that if I had committed to one style for the sake of committing to one style without intentionally trying to understand myself as a photographer and an artist would have been to corrupt the creative process and I think I'm gonna leave it at that folks short and sweet and hopefully an interesting icebreaker to get a conversation going and hopefully a light introduction to future conversations that we can explore in this channel down the line what do you folks think are there some of you out there that knew from the get-go what your style was I would be fascinated to hear from you thank you to everyone for being here thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I'll catch you in the next one.